kiddos. It's Miss Bobby. How are you? So today's video, you are not going to need to take notes on paper. It's just an important one in life that you need to be able to do. And that is counting money. So we're going to talk about money, what each piece looks like. And some of you, this is really not hard for you, but some of you really struggle with this. And we need to make sure that everybody understands money because you're going to deal with it. All right. So we have, let me just get the camera up to a big area so you guys have a big area to see. All right. So that's obviously the dollar. Okay. And, uh, I'll show you some of the different ones that we have the $5, okay? And then this is a pretty bad looking $10, but you still get the idea. So that's the $10. And we'll just kind of move some of these aside just so you can still see them all. Okay. And then this is a $20. And then you have more there's a 50 and a hundred and then this one's a rare one but occasionally you'll see one and that's the two dollar bill and that's pretty cool looking um i happen to have one of those so that'd be neat so these are some of the basic um, pieces of money that we have in our currency and i'm going to show you some coins and then we're going to talk about counting them so the penny which is worth one cent Okay, so that's the one cent coin. And then the nickel, okay? And that is worth five cents, also known as 0 .05, 0 0.05.01. And then we have our dime, which is our smallest of our coins. Uh, but it doesn't have a small value. It's worth two of these. And then we have our quarter which is 25 cents, decimal point two five. Okay, so these are our items. And the biggest thing is making sure you can identify what they look like because uh, the penny is kind of the one that everybody knows. The quarter is your largest circumference coin. Uh, then your nickel is your next biggest circumference of coin. Your next biggest value to the quarter is the dime, which is worth 10 cents. And then these are worth five and this is worth one. And some of you are like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. Well, you'd be surprised. Um, gone through some lanes at stores and adults don't know how to count um, the money. So just wanting to make sure you guys understand this before we get into it. So this lesson, like I said, is going to be a lot of like counting pieces. So if we want to count like money, like 20s, we count by 20. So we have 20. If we add another 20 to that, that's 2040. We add another 20 to that, that's 204060. We add another 20 to that, that's 204080. We add another 20 to that, that is worth $100. Okay? So we're going to put that aside. So we remember that. So we have $100 in 20s on our screen. Okay. Okay. So now we had just our plain 10. And then if we add 5 to that, that's 15. 10, 15. Okay. So if this is worth $15, we now have 115, okay? Now, if we wanted to add the ones to it, one, we add another one to that, that's two, add another one to that, there's three, add another four, add another five, add another six, add another seven, add another eight, add another nine, there's 10, okay? So then we have, 10 more dollars in ones. Okay. So we have 115 and 10 more. So we have 100 
1520 $125. So the bills all equal $125, okay? Now, we're gonna put the coins into this. So, we have $125. And let's add some coins to this. So, we have a quarter, another quarter, and we're gonna zoom in on the quarters, okay, the coins. We have another quarter, and we have another quarter. So, four quarters, make a dollar, okay? So four quarters make a dollar, 25, 50, 75, 100. 100 cents is a dollar. You can look at it as 50 cents and 50 cents. Okay, when we have a dime, the dimes count up by tens. So that's 10, two of them make 20. See how there's a back and a front? Sometimes they'll mess you up with that. 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? That's how we count coins. Now, we can put those numbers underneath. So four quarters, that's one dollar. Sixty cents. Now, we're gonna look at nickels. Now nickels are the five count. So there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's 30 cents, okay? Now, each coin has a way of counting, okay? These were counting by 25s. These we were counting by 10s. These were counting by 5s. So now the pennies were counting by 1s, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that makes ten cents. Now, we're going to play around with all this, and I'm going to just show you something. So I'm going to pause you for a second, and I'm going to redistribute this. Okay, we are going to see if you can count this. So here we go. 20 plus 10 more is 30 plus 5 more is 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So $39. Fifty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So $39.89. 89 cents. Now, if you're noticing, when I started with the coins and with the dollar amounts, I started with the highest amount of dollars, like the $20 bill, then the 10, then the 5, then the 1s. Started with the quarters, then the dimes, then the nickel, then the pennies. I hope this makes sense. Have a great day. As always, I love math and play poker.